Oh, hi, everyone. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to all the men I've tolerated before is in charge of the lives this go around. Let's see how that's gonna go. I am manic. Jules is here from Pop Culture Makes Me Jealous. I'm gonna show up now because I hit all of the buttons. What's up, whispers in a bottle? Uh oh. There he is. There he is. <laughs> there you are. There. I was like, why? All right. That's fine. <laughs> Just talking to someone off camera. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Life's hard, and then you die. My rain light is unstable, but we'll see. Um, uh, are you ready to start? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't want to be anything other than what I've been trying to be lately. Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. I told everybody before this started, it was like, if Natalie sings, take a shot. That's why I got a, a boozy drink that I bought in a truck stop. Yeah. <laughs> in Toledo. <laughs> yeah. It's called Tropical Rush. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to... To all the men I've tolerated before is Instagram. Every Tuesday night, Jules and I go live to revisit our childhood. <laughs> this is our, we've done. Time Traveler's Wife, it sucked. It was grooming. <laughs> grooming through, through time, time is what you called it. We're hoping, I'm hoping, because I'm having a great time with One Tree Hill. <laughs> I'm having a, the best time of my life. And I knew. I knew. I was like, if only I could be rewatching One Tree Hill and reminding myself what it's like to be a Brooke Davis. <laughs> That's Sophia, Sophia Bush's character, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was just checking. I was just checking. I'm still new. I'm still new. I'm That's still right. learning. Jules, go ahead and um, introduce yourself. And could you tell us your relationship to One Tree Hill? <laughs> Hello, new friends. I'm Julia Washington. I host Pop Culture Makes Me Jealous, where we uh, analyze pop culture through the lens of race or gender, and sometimes both. And I have never seen One Tree Hill before Natalie told me to watch it for this live. It's truly, like, a crime to me. That I haven't seen it? Yeah, because you watch so much TV, which I guess, like... <laughs> My equivalent to you not watching One Tree Hill is that I never watched Felicity. Oh, see, and Felicity was three years, three or four years before. Like, so by the time, are you okay? I don't know. Maybe someone's trying to break in. Maybe Penelope hit her cat tower a little too hard. We'll see. I'm gonna we'll see. Okay, all right. Cat, I'm hoping How it's dare Penelope. someone try to murder me live on the internet? <laughs> like, that's gonna be dumb. <laughs> that's gonna be dumb. Someone gonna see you. I can't with the. Tra I can't be traumatized like that. You guys, I don't, I don't be have dumb. support for therapy to cope. Should we take bets on which X it's gonna be? Because I know which one it's gonna be. <laughs> but like, if you've all listened to the podcast and you would like to weigh in, go ahead, slide into the DMs or leave a comment so we get more views. <laughs> It just feels really icky to make a bet, but I will tell you later. Okay. Okay. Um, so 2003 is when One Tree Hill started. I was trying to think of what I was doing in 2003, and I uh, was partying a lot. Well. Because so I was, was 19. Oh. How old was I? I was born in 88. So I was 15, 16-ish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't hot yet. So I, so I had. I hot. was, I was definitely hot. I had my bleach yeah. blonde hair. My very thin, to, fit body. Same I mean, eyebrows I though, because two thousand three told us to have really skinny fucking eyebrows. So the eyebrows are the same. Hi Mario. What up Mario? Mario, tell it me right now. Do you love One Tree Hill and do you love da Gavin DeGraw? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see in the video I sent you on TikTok? Yes. So An good. anthem. I meant to post yeah. it and then I forgot. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I meant to post it and then I forgot. That's okay. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, 
So in honor of the fact that I have seen One Tree Hill before, but you haven't, and I also wanted to have a new experience because of FOMO, I started watching the um, Dating Will Also Be the Death of Me. I hate Gavin Oh my gosh! I watch One Tree Hill every week. Yes, Mario! Welcome! I'm new. Mario, how do you hate that theme song? It's so passionate. I don't want to be anything. Take a, anything. Take a shot. Gotta take a shot. Gotta take a shot. And try and be lately. Okay. Twice if anyone's keeping track. So because I <laughs> wanted a new experience too, today I started the Drama Queens podcast, which is where Brooke, Haley, and Peyton. Gotcha. Hillary, yeah. They do a podcast and they revisit all of the episodes. And they told me that the reason why Lucas is like bouncing that basketball uh -huh, <laughs> on uh -huh. the bridge uh -huh. is because in 2003, Eight Mile was huge. I snuck into a movie theater to see it or something. <laughs> Alien gets a little cheesy to We're not at the end of the series, though, Mario. We're, we're, at the, we're doing we're, season one. We're Jules doing season one. <laughs> episodes one through three tonight. One I've never three. seen it. Chad, also, Chad, Chad Michael Murray to me was Tristan from Gilmore Girls. So to see him yeah. as this for like disheveled, episodes. dadless, for three boy, episodes. more than three episodes, more okay. than three episodes. But it's like, wait a minute, aren't you a rich kid? No, I think the time Don't. jump saved the series when they okay. became grown ups and we didn't have to watch them in college. We're not there. <laughs> We're not there though. So the reason why he's on because Eight Mile was huge. Uh -huh. I remember sneaking into a movie theater to see Eight Mile, yeah. rest in peace, Brittany Murphy. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, I love that. Like, You're a virgin who can't drive. Can't drive. <laughs> I, I was like, I love that the WB was like, Brooke Davis, we're all a little Brooke Davis inside. Yeah. <laughs> or all of us have been inside Brooke Davis. Oh it's hard to God. tell. <laughs> One of the two. Ma'am, do you um, need to get down? Do you need to get down? Are you okay? But sorry, sorry the, dog's the fact on my that lap. the WB thought that they could just like recreate the angst that was Eminem and Eight Mile, and they no. never once played "Lose Yourself." No. You know the WB was cute. <laughs> <laughs> so they talked because the WB ran our television lives. Well, it used to be UPN. And then mm -hmm. it became the WB, beca mm -hmm. and that's when the whitewashing started. And then it became the CW. The CW. Because UPN was very pro, very, it had a lot of black television. Yeah, you're right. And then when it became the WB, is Martin, I, Martin, Martin, Martin was on Fox. Martin oh, was on God. Fox. And then the WB was like, bot or something or UPN was like whatever and then the WB was like but how do we get the white people back Chad Michael Murray Chad Michael and Murray a Christian heavy show called Seventh Heaven oh my god that show do you remember when Jessica Biel got in trouble and violated her morality clause or her contract because she posed in like some sort of black thing on yeah she like wore a bathing suit or something she wore a bathing suit i was so confused when that happened i was like i don't get it she doesn't look indecent to me i don't understand riverdale is insane we can do an entire yes. live season on riverdale because the it, things that happen in that show don't make no sense it, but <laughs> and they killed luke perry like <laughs> r.i.p brandon no not brandon no, Luke. Um, Dylan. Lord, Dylan. Dylan. I was like, hey, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Um. I, so I have a question. Yeah. Are Lucas and Nate the same age? Yes. <laughs> so okay. But I thought that Lucas's mom and Nate's dad were like high school sweethearts. So they like. Were. So they I, got, So how are two boys got, in the same? So, help me. So she got pregnant. Yes. their senior year of high school okay and it was right before he was going off to college okay so and that then, must be after episode three right and then yes. so so basically we haven't seen nathan's mom yet but deb is a good hot mess of a time i okay. forgot that in the first season deb was a businesswoman and that's how she coped with dan 
but eventually she just becomes a manic good hot ass mess of a time okay because i'm sitting here like wait a minute if they're if lucas dad and mom were so in love how does nate come into the picture and why is nate the beneficiary of all of this richness the audacity of dan dan is the antichrist dan uh, actually, dan fucking sucks and i dan, also don't like nate at dan all. sucks hard nate has a redemption arc okay um, but dan forever sucks <laughs> Like, I hate the way that Nate is with his girlfriend. Like, that makes me angry. And I'm just like, why did you tell us that this is the kind of... Like, that's so 2003. Like, the way that relationship is, I feel like... I think this is, like, everything about the early 2000s mm -hmm. and what we were told about love. <laughs> yes, the OC Mario was their direct competition. Yes. Yeah. It, oh, the OC... But I thought the OC started in 07. Because I was already a parent when the OC started. So this is what happened. One Tree Hill Girl, happened. You're going to make me pull up IMDb. One Tree Hill. Ha no, they told me about it today on the podcast. Oh, okay. Like, I'm listening. <clears throat> Sophia called. So One Tree Hill was kind of like going. Yeah. And they were trying to be like eight mile. They like <laughs> wanted it to be like Gilmore Girls, but like gritty. <laughs> they were like, yeah, there will be these two boys. And like one's from the wrong side of the tracks, but they're brothers. And it's angsty. <laughs> and Dan's <laughs> evil. <laughs> Dan is evil. And I then Veronica even. Mars became their big co co competitor. I and love the, Mars. and then when the OC came out, they were like, "We gotta throw out the angst and get out the tits, and we gotta sex it up." <laughs> so then, by the time the OC shows up, are they out of high school then? Because I thought OC was in 07. So who's really to say? Because the Boy Meets World cast was in high school for 22 years. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> 22 true. seasons. That's like, also true. Because, okay, okay, so, okay. So then Nate, I still don't understand. They're like, he so basically, he like knocked basically them out like, at, knocked them up at basically the same time. And I but think. So Lucas's mom doesn't know this? Oh, like, no, she knows. No, but I mean, like, back in the day, does she not know? So I think, like, so... It Dan's would just be easier appearance. if I watched the whole season, right? Yeah. Dan, I mean, they told us a little bit of it. Like, Karen's like, I can't go to your basketball game because that's right. where your father told me that he was going to college instead of marrying me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there that's, was that. Yeah. yeah. And then, so basically what happened was Dan dumped Karen in the gym. And then he went off to college and immediately impregnated Deb. So, like, Lucas and Nathan are only months apart. And oh. something about, like, Deb's family made Dan marry her or something. So he marries Deb. Yeah. He marries Deb. He tries to literally pretend like Lucas doesn't exist because men can't accept the fact that they make mistakes. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. his brother Keith is like, I'll hang out with this kid. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering about that, too, because it's like, well, Keith seems like a really cool guy. Like, he's given he Lucas is. a job. Like, he's being the dad figure. Like, he kind of, you know, an he, angel. Yeah, like, he stepped in and was just, like, you know, wait, like, he helped him get on the basketball team and all those things. And, like, I was just like, well, this is a... So then for a minute, I was like, are we going to find out that Keith is actually his dad? No, <laughs> that's not oh. what's gonna happen. I've only I'll, seen I'll just give episodes. you that spoiler right now. <laughs> okay, all right. So, look at this girl. Also, there's look this, this weird girl. juxtaposition. Hi, Josephine. She keeps looking at me like, like I'm doing um, her the biggest disservice. So yeah, drama. One hundred percent. Like, one hundred percent. These boys hate each other so much. So much for like. So, and it all just started in like peewee basketball and like because lucas wanted to play so i remember seeing the previews stop, stop. for one tree hill and going oh i go so like this guy knocked up two ladies but she the other lady lived in the next town over and now that kid is moving to his high school no no that's not what happened at all they lived in the same town their whole lives <laughs> mm. they were very like Nathan is a dick, but he does say things like, Dad, it's weird. Like, people know that he's your kid. <laughs> like, Dad, it's weird. Yeah, because in episode three, like, 
when he basically tells him the dad he's yeah. he's replaced you you need he's to like you. you need to find his he's your he's your competition now it's like i think i think sir you have a bad attitude and then maybe the reason why you don't have a basketball career and like your coach was hard on you was because he was trying to teach you a lesson about being a dick right because whitey is also an angel He's yeah, the but Mr. it was Katie also One Tree Hill. But it was also weird. He may or may not have seen oh, Brooks' boobs. I was like, it was kind of weird. I was like, "There's a half naked girl in the back of your car." I was like, "What are you supposed to say about that?" Like, you walked just up don't. to your player's car. Just ignore it. No. <laughs> like, so I see that plausible deniability. I bet you that's not the first time Whitey's seen it, Brooke naked in someone's car. That's kind of her thing her move isn't um, she a bush like of the presidential yes. bushes i don't know if she's a like presidential like, bush. No, no, no but like she's related to them i don't know listen i'm asking google Add you keep in saying the comments and see if she'll jump on <laughs> sophia is she at sophia. sophia bush yeah i think so <laughs> yep what should i ask her hello hi are you Hi, can you jump on and ask us a li and so and answer a lineage question for us? <laughs> I don't know. I feel so dumb asking that. Okay, I'm gonna be like, "Hi, we're talking one tree hill. Join us. Join us." <laughs> right. She's gonna be like, "Who are these psychos?" Block. <laughs> Block. I would talk to Hillary Burton because she's married to Denny Duquette, <laughs> and I would like to see him. And but I other than that. Her. It's so funny because Hillary Burton wrote, like, said, first thing, she's like, I just remember that everyone thought that Peyton was insufferable. And that was, like, the fifth thing I wrote. I was like, Peyton <laughs> is insufferable. <laughs> she was so, what, which, ep was it one or two, was it episode two or three where she's like, my drawings, nobody wants them. And then Lucas takes them to the comic two. people. Which I do have to say. That I am over that trope. I am over that trope of you having an artistic meltdown, throwing all of your shit away. Someone comes to gather it from the garbage and then goes behind your back and sends it to people. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Um, because, you know, in the 2000s, we still couldn't figure out how to have any other way for a woman to be successful. Man. I'm having a really great time being back in the early O's. I might get some body glitter. <coughs> yes. And a butterfly clip. <laughs> Did you, the clips that, yeah, yeah, all the hair, all the things. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it doesn't say on her Wikipedia. I thought she was, like, distant, rela distant relative. How do you feel about Haley James? Um... I liked, I like her. Huh? Not a fan of her tutoring. What's his face? Nate. So Haley James literally becomes the moral backbone of the show. And like literally. I can see carries, that. She carries the show. It's insufferable to watch her right now because she's like, I'm not into Lucas, but I am. <laughs> like, I mean, she's clearly on? into Lucas. Yeah. From the We're jump. all into Chad Michael Murray. I don't know okay. if you can tell, but he's deep. He has a book in every scene he's in. And that was your clue. That he he's, was the he's deep the, one. He's the Rory Gilmore of One Tree. He is. He's <laughs> deep. I don't know if you picked up on it, but he's nice to his mom. And he constantly is reading. Also, when One Tree Hill was conceptualized, it was called Ravens. And it was just going to be about the basketball team. And it was oh. going to be Whitey narrating everything to his dead wife camilla oh <laughs> like I'm glad so, they pivoted right so they pivoted because then eight mile became cool and then they were like we should sex up eight mile <laughs> lose yourself in the music the moment you won't make you better now let it go honestly <laughs> <laughs> how did that not become the theme song because uh, probably I don't want to be Eminem... anything other than what I've been trying to be lately. lately. Because Eminem is was a mantra like... to live by. Yeah. 
the but basketball. I like the version I sent you <laughs> where it's the gay anthem yeah I think I'll I think I'll post it to IG later so our yeah. friends can hear about it because it was so good wait hold on there was a there was a filter that would really highlight this moment was it this oh, one yeah. oh oh if I knew how to make noises I would do that for you <laughs> Oh my god. Um, Here's anyways. the thing. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You know I have issues with the poor single mom. I was going to ask you how you felt about Karen's story. Also, like, that it's mm -hmm. two white boys that are complaining about basketball. Hey, Tobin! <laughs> uh, quick poll. Do you love One Tree Hill? And how do you feel about Gavin DeGraw? <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> While Jules tries to figure out whether or not it's appropriate for the white boys to be at the front of this story. It's just so comical. Well, and, you know, like, K Karen's Cafe seems to be doing really well. But yeah. she can't afford to have running water in her house. You know? It's a struggle running a small business. Or, like, the house is tight. Like, yes, running a small business is a struggle. I will not deny that. But it's, like, how your business is clearly successful. Right. Why, are, why is she still poor? Like, so poor that they're poor. <laughs> also, why wouldn't you just move out of that goddamn town? Like... Karen didn't get to go to college. Dan got to. So, like, she is literally, she's, like, literally doing it all. Um, she's beautiful. I forgot yes. that Laura Kelly is so beautiful. Yeah. She's and I just think, stunning. I think she's a great character, too, because I think that, like, when she was, like, I can't go to your basketball game, blah, blah, I was, like, that's real. Like, mm -hmm. that's an emotional thing that's real. I get that. Um, and, like, the way she's cultivated her relationship with Lucas yeah you know she's very it's very clear that she's focused on character and building mm -hmm. a strong man and not and being if, Dan as I say if that's the direct result of Dan being a douche then cool we get more better men for that Dan um, is the devil my mom said it when I said that this is what we were doing for the lives so I was like mom we're doing oh! one tree hill oh! sorry she's like, we're losing a dog here She's like, you're doing One Tree Hill with Devil Dan? We lost your rain light. We lost the dog. We lost Hold on. She, she, like, fell and unplugged stuff. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Oh. My poor girl. He's like, is your friend ready for Dan to be the truest form of evil that we've ever encountered as a society? You know, I just, when he was like, you're, he is now your competition, I was like, that the whole, is the wrong attitude, sir. And it's not even that, like, Lucas is directly his competition. He, Dan wants Nathan to run it like the entire team is his competition. Which like, is, that's, it's a team sport. That's not how it right. works. If you want your child to be in competition with everybody, put him in fucking tennis. Right. Make him a pole vault star. Person. Or, like, play, what's the one? Tiger Woods. Golf. Golf. <laughs> you did it. I got there. My poor girl. I need a bigger chair for the two of us. She's like, Mom, we are tangled. Wait. Hold on. Oh, we are very tangled. Hold on. Josephine, I need you to make a decision. This is a live show. Josephine, I need you to, I need you to concentrate up. I need you to firm it up. Do you want to get down, pretty? Do you want to go down onto the floor? Is that what you want? She's like, I want you to sit on the couch. Sorry. <laughs> Last time it was I mean, Penelope, this a... time it's Josephine. Okay. Now you're frozen, too. You're going to have to do the I Dream of Jeannie. Did it work? <laughs> yeah, Did... it works okay. every time. <laughs> um, also, I forget how rough pilots are and first seasons are in general. So, yeah. some of the... The fact that the ex... The paternity exposition where it's like, well, he's on the birth certificate, but there was never a marriage certificate. It's like, what? <laughs> Why can't you just say Dan knocked her up? 
Like, yeah, we're aware yeah. that Dan knocked her up and they never got married. He didn't yeah. have to be told. <laughs> yeah, like, was it the scene, was it in episode three where, yeah, it has to be, where they're like, oh, Karen, join the boosters, and then, like, th- oh, you're Dan's ex. Oh, we were never married. Like, you can still be exes without you're a still legal documentation. Ex. Like, it's fine. Like, how how many times do you have to, like, state in the most awkward ways that they were never married, but they have a child? Like, Gilmore Girls did the same thing. Like, there was an episode oh, yeah. where um, Jess's mom was getting married, and she, and she was like, oh, you know, something about marriage. And Lorelai was like, no, never been married. And she's like, but you have a kid. You can have children well, without getting married, guys. People have but been do you doing remember that in millennia. the late 90s? <laughs> but here's the thing. In the early 90s, or in the late 90s, early 2000s, that was a woman's biggest crime. Mm-hmm. Was to, like, literally oh. be pregnant and not be able to just trap that man. Oh, I know. I, I mean, you lived it. I lived it. The people people were horrified when they found out I, yeah. we weren't going to get married. Like, why would I do that? I'm 20. Why and he's would I? A moron. He's volatile. I don't want to be legally, contractually obligated to anyone. And unless I know it's forever. And, and even then, I'm like, is it though? And two, it's so expensive to get a divorce that it, to me, it's like, it, this has got to be really worth it. Right. Because Deb do, do be stuck with Dan. I know we haven't, I can't wait for you to meet Deb. She's such a good time. When does I mean, she show not. up? When does she show up? She's got to be showing up soon. We're three episodes in. Like, I forgot that Brooke doesn't show up. Like, I mean, through an entire episode, I was like, where's my girl, Brooke Davis? Where'd she be? Um... <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I was pulling up Hulu, and the default is always going to I Love Lucy. <laughs> also, can we talk about how that Nathan and Peyton, it's just another perfect gaslighting relationship. I don't even oh remember. Oh, my God. Like, he's, like, he is bad. And he's bad for Peyton. I do think it's weird that your half-brother wants to date your girlfriend out of I don't know spite or because they're the only two people who can read in one tree hill Haley reads <laughs> um okay when hold on when they kidnap him yeah and dump him in the thing and dump him in the thing uh-huh like so I have this thing about well, hazing or <laughs> I yes I hate it and, yeah, and, and, I don't, and I don't, and then like how cavalier everyone's kind of being about the hazing, like, especially yeah, like the, the early whole, 2000s, because like they put a freaking thing over his head and then taped uh-huh. his hands behind his back. And then he comes home and he's covered in mud. His mom's like, where were you? <laughs> and he's like, I got thrown in mud. <laughs> and her response was like, oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. My kid comes home covered in dirt. I'm like, who the fuck did this to you? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna roll. Like, I and he probably wouldn't tell me it. anything because he'd be like, "You're gonna get wild," and I'm not here for that. I'd be like, "Yeah, listen, I would just hurt a woman you. have to go at her baby daddy today while I was at lunch, and I was like, if we gotta roll, I'll roll. <laughs> like, I will back this woman up. He didn't pay child support. He didn't pick up this kid at the right location. Like, what's going on? You screaming? <laughs> Just want <sighs> everyone to know. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they do. We could we could all handle ourselves if we just Is it <sighs> Am I did I only watch One Tree Hill or were sports a very important vehicle to all teen drama? Okay, let's think about this. Did they play sports in the OC? I, I didn't watch OC. Oh, I see. I watched it during the um, the shutdown because I was like, I need something dumb. And my friend was like, watch the OC. <laughs> watch the OC. Oh, the OC was 2003. 
Oh my God, I'm so sorry. You were absolutely right. The OC was 2003 to 2007. Natalie, I am so sorry. You apologized to Hillary Burton and Joy Benz and Sophia Bush. I was like, they told me today. I know. I'm um, sorry. I know we're not there yet because it's only think... episode. Because Adam Brody's character was kind of a dorky guy. I don't yeah. think there was. I don't think there was a. I don't think anyone sport. in California plays sports, so <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Where is uh, One Tree? Where is that? Or is oh, it Tree Hill? It's Tree Hill. Um, Where are they located? What state are we in? Um, it, I think is it North Carolina or Massachusetts? It's like one of those like big difference. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I got IMDb open right here. And why is it called One Tree Hill? Because there's only one tree on that hill. <laughs> is, that a, is that real? Is that a thing? It's in Wilmington, North Carolina. I have a friend whose oh. mom drove her all the way to North Carolina to be an extra on the show. They were obsessed with One Tree Hill. <laughs> I don't know if I would do that. Yeah, well, people got hobbies. <laughs> interesting yeah i actually i would probably do that now to be because i'm because i'm so desperate to not have the career i have now um but yeah they were in wilmington north carolina which was like the home of a lot of different shows yeah because it wasn't Creek really was in wilmington oh like they were set in wilmington not they made a dawson's creek reference in the first episode yeah because dawson's creek had just wrapped yeah. Um, also, Hillary, what up, James? Oh my God, Gavin DeGraw performs the song. That's what the trailer just told me. When does that the, happen? This song? I don't want to be in there. I want to I hope everyone took a shot. Because <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's literally like I seen it every episode, and Penelope is so mad. <laughs> you, don't, you don't ever skip it? I skip it. No, if the if the intro song slaps, oh, I refuse to skip it. I support you. Um, the kid from Boy Meets World. Uh huh. Minkus. Minkus. Booth is like, Minkus. Is that Minkus? It is Minkus. He's so cute. Booth is so cute. Um, skills. For whatever reason, the only black man playing basketball in One Tree Hill. <laughs> Apparently, they couldn't find any black people in North Carolina. Also the cutest. He's also the cutest. Um, but yeah, it's in North Carolina. Wait, Stephen Coletti's on the show? Yeah. Oh At God. some point, I think he just, like, does a meet and greet at the high school. It's I can't remember which one. It says he's I think it's 50s. Brooke. I'm pretty sure Brooke, like, gets to fuck him. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 57 episodes from 2000 to 2007 to oh, 2012. Oh, he did an arc. I he, Chase Adams is his character name? Like, how about I didn't know that Stephen Coletti had anything other than the OC, Laguna Beach, the real OC. So, Steven Is he, like, a legitimate actor? Yes, because he's also acting in something else with another one of those bozos. Because I saw it on IMDb and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Coletti. Oh, he's got um, some Hallmark stuff on him. That tracks. Oh, I think it was Ryder Strong. From what? You know the Boy Meets World people just started a podcast? I was Pod listening to it. I was, Were you listening, I was to, listening it? I to it today. I bookmarked it so I could listen to it tomorrow. Someone needs to um, send them my 90s protagonist episode. Because, like, Ryder Strong has some feelings about the fact that he had to be Sean Hunter for, like, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't doubt that. Because that's hard to be yeah, a, a, it is. a heartthrob like that. Just ask Chris Evans. I mean, someone should. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you said that you had lots of questions. Was it literally like, did Dan knock up two women at the same time? It's okay, doable. so that was yes, we tried to tell SCOTUS that they when they care. took away our rights. They don't we tried care. to be like, I can only get pregnant one time, but like, 
Dan Scott can literally knock up multiple women within the same semester. Hundreds, if he wanted <laughs> Hundreds to. Hundreds of women. And he probably did, and we just don't know it. Right. Oh, that would have been such a great story arc if another Dan kid had shown up. <laughs> right? So that was my main question, was, like, I don't understand the timeline between them. Okay, so, 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 ne okay, so that was, like, the root of all my questions. Because so it's, like, how old are they supposed to be, the parents? Because, like... I'm having, I'm struggling. I was struggling there because it hasn't been clear. It just hasn't been that clear. It hasn't been clear. So They're will it get a... clear get going forward? Like they'll get how old Dan and Karen are or how old the kids are? Because the Peyton's adults driving. Yeah. The adults. Well, okay. So if the kids are 16 and Karen had. My calculator's Luke... on my phone. Yeah. It's an 18 plus a 16. That's like 34. <laughs> it's a really good math yeah yeah so so i was struggling with that because like how so then my mind does this of course a man could get super wealthy having a baby really young well, over like a shitty car dealership mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a shitty car and then he's yelling at his son about that car dealership that made them all fucking rich. I think mm -hmm. it's Deb's money that makes them rich. Oh. I think, so what I'm assuming So is embarrassing, I'm sorry. Okay. Is Deb gets knocked up. Okay. Dan has to drop out of college to support Deb and Nathan. And that's why Dan never gets to play professional ball, which was his trajectory. Which, you know, his terrible attitude and his lack of team pl team playerness would have had nothing to do with him not getting to play a team sport right and for some reason it's whitey's fault that he put his dick wherever it would fit and knocked up a bunch of people because whitey didn't see his talent and i'm thinking i'm pretty sure whitey saw your talent because he sees talent in chad michael murray yeah. So I think he saw your talent. He just wanted to put you in your place because you're a fucking asshole. Well, here's what people don't understand about coaches. is like you can be talented, but if you're the toxic member of the team, I don't want to fuck with you. Yeah. Like, and, and that bothered me like when they got all of during the hazing and like mm -hmm. Chad Michael Murray's walking out with his bits covered by basketballs. And he and the coach was like, oh, uh -huh. And you're just like, why are we accepting hazing? Because it's the early two thousands. Yeah, that's true. It's so we had. I, I don't think all of that came out about hazing and how hurt people get and the bullying until well, I was in college. I honestly, between like everything, times a blur for me. Half but the time. I live. I remember. Because I went to a college that didn't have sororities and fraternities. So okay. I remember that that's when the drama started. I don't think that hazing was a big deal until people started putting it on the internet. Oh, yeah. And then you can people, share about it. Yeah. Right. And then people were aware that hazing isn't cute. Yeah. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, people are like, what do you mean hazing isn't fun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you mean this kid died from drinking too much alcohol right. because of hazing? Oh, I, I need you to know that the, the you-don't-know-me line from Shitty Peyton, iconic. Really? Everyone, you don't know me. Yeah, they use it in the theme song for the podcast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Does she it's iconic. also get a little bit better, though? Because yeah. like, she has moments where you're just like, okay, girl, I see you. And then she does shit where you're just like, okay, can't I can't do damaged broads. Like, we're all yeah. fucking broken because we don't have any rights. But, like... <sighs> so, Hillary Burton talked about it on the podcast episode for the pilot. That when the chat boards came in about Peyton, they chat were boards. terrible. Like, literally so everyone... Everyone hated Sorry. Peyton. Poor thing. So then the writers and the producers had to sit with her and they were like, listen, um, we're going to ride this out. Like, people are going to hate you, but we got to push you down so Peyton can soar later. So okay. people start, begin to understand why she is so angsty. Okay. But, like, 
she's the quintessential like i'm just angsty because i can my dad's never around my mom's dead yeah um, yeah. yeah yeah i just and then she's so like ferocious ma'am mm -hmm. can you tell me with and, and especially with chad michael murray because i feel like nate deserves it it's <laughs> yes. a dick but with like like chad michael murray is just like this dopey, cute, like, I don't know, I'm a nice guy. Look at that. Oh, nice no, guy. I can read. Look at that. I read no, books. No. I'm so deep. I'm so and nice she's, to my mom. <laughs> I'm so nice to my mom. And she's so mean to him that I'm just like, he doesn't really deserve you to, like, yeah. for you to be that. Okay, ma'am. You have, are you going to be okay? Sorry. What is going on? Is it, are there fireworks? Is it stormy? She's it was not, storming California. It storms sometimes. She's not super thrilled about how she's sitting on my lap. She wants to be able to lay on her side, which she can't do because my lap isn't long enough. <laughs> but when we sit on the couch and we're spread out, she yeah. can do because half her body, half her body. And the cord to the ring light is now underneath her because I couldn't get it uh -huh. not underneath her from when she yeah. slipped. <sighs> So she's got that pulling on her and she doesn't like it, but she also won't let me fix it. So you don't like that Haley's tutoring Nathan? Fucking makes me so cranky. I do appreciate her doing like, here are my um, conditions, yes. but I feel like it's going to blow up and backfire and then they're going to have like this big old thing and that makes me sad because like they're such good friends to each other. I don't want them to fight. Yeah, no one ever wants anyone to fight in these teen dramas. Yeah. Can we just talk about, I meant to do this in the opening in the, store, in the show. I go fucking hard for teen dramas still. Pretty Little Liars, fucking watched all that, fucking will watch the reboot. <laughs> Didn't it um, just end like a year ago? How? how yeah, but now right? HBO's got the rights to it or oh, something. They're doing a whole HBO's new reboot. Gonna get, yeah, HBO's going to get, watch and out though, because... Yeah, because they got they got real into it with Gossip Girl. I was like, this they is, did. this would never happen in the original a, Gossip Girl. I watched the new Gossip Girl until like four o'clock in the morning. I was like, I'm just gonna finish it. What the yep. fuck? <laughs> did you watch the both parts? Because they released half the season early and then the other half in the fall. Which I thought was stupid. So I'm gonna mm. go back and watch I'll have to look. I'm going to watch it straight through again because I was like, oh. also, I'm, I'm like, so here for Luke Kirby. Like, I know that he's not the best guy on Gossip Girl. Uh, not Zoya, the other one. What? The sister on Gossip Girl. On New Gossip Girl? On New Gossip Girl. Yeah. Not Zoya, but her sister, the dad, her white dad is Luke Kirby. And her I'm white so, dad. I'm so yeah, there he is. There's Luke Kirby. Uh -huh. That's who you're into? I don't know. I think he's cute. But he's on. He's, he's, um. You really do like them, like, gaunt and white. Like, just, he's, like, gaunt. <laughs> he's, um, Marvelous Mrs. Mabel, Maisel. He plays, um. Oh, he does look better in this picture as the comedian for Marvelous Miss Maisel. Yes, that's what yeah. got me into it. Yeah, the like, sexual chemistry in that show, super great. So um, good. What's the fucking sister's name? Not Zoya, but the I other don't one. Know. I don't know. They're both mixed. It makes me happy because mixed girls. Uh, but I love a freeform show. I love, yeah, did you watch I The love Bold Type? Yes, I watched all of the bold type. I watched so all good. of Switched at Birth, my personal favorite. I jumped from the Fosters to Good Trouble. Now Good Trouble's my favorite. Julian, that's her name on the show. Okay, ma'am, I have to you have to go down because my feet are getting sleepy. Sorry, Lovey. We'll snuggle in a little bit, okay? She's so mad. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> She's just like looking at me very sad. But always, man, because I sound cleansed the house. She doesn't like loud noises. I'm sorry. She was honey. like hiding and everything. I was like, hide from the bad vibes that it yeah, this yeah. Old. Please stop I licking go, my leg. Thank you. I go, something is literally haunting me. Yes. Josephine, please, please stop licking. Thank you. She's sad because I put her down. But I had like my lap, this chair, my like 
because of how high the chair is, like my lap is like this. <laughs> so if I put my feet up, it's like this. But if I put my oh. feet down, she slides. So I okay. did. Right? Nobody so, cares. This is not. This is not a thing people care about. I'm very sorry to do this on your live. This is why <laughs> I have no friends. That got like paint and dark. Like, were you rewriting an episode of One Tree Hill right now? <laughs> yes, because you know what? You that you know I, one of my notes is the angst in the show is poetry. Yeah, like it's just literal poetry brought to life. <laughs> Because you know what? They really need a main character who's not white. Like, all the They main... got skills. <laughs> Girl, I've, been, I've seen three episodes. How many lines has he had? I don't he gets look... bigger. Does they he eventually make him a season regular. Okay, cool. Because right now, couldn't pick him out of a lineup if I needed to. Um, the rich white privilege in the show is mm -hmm. ever prevalent. Like Dan buying off those cops. I was like, God damn it, Dan. That made me cranky. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not not a fan. Um when they said his name for Nate for not being off the team or whatever. And you were like, he drove the bus and Whitey knows that. Like mm -hmm. he stole a bus. Mm-hmm. Then made oh my out God. with some Sorry, go ahead. Made out with some chick that was not paying, which may, led me to believe that the girl that gets out of the shower and says, hey, Mr. Scott to Dan was also not paying. I rewound it four times because I was like, there's no way that's Hillary Burton. It was Hillary Burton. She refused to look at the camera because she tried to get them to write that out of the show. She's I like, what teenage girl gets out of the shower and addresses her boyfriend's father? None. Like because in the 2000s, we were hiding from everyone's parents if we were doing it in the parents' house. Right. Also, like, Hillary Burton grew up not being able to watch uh, 90210 or Dawson's Creek because that's where the bad kids were on TV. Yeah, same. <laughs> so, like, she's like, now I'm the bad kid. I'm the kid in the towel. <laughs> yeah. And it's so, inappropriate to just write a, a teenage girl, a character. Yeah. She might not have been necessarily, I don't know how the No, they were, they were 20. Women. Yeah, so it's, but still inappropriate because you're portraying a teenage girl in a towel, especially in front of a grown ass man, like yeah. on the heels of grooming through time. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Wait. Oh, <laughs> so today on Drama Queens, they're talking about the pilot and they said, oh my gosh, we forgot about the grooming. And I immediately went back to Time Traveler's Wife and I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? No one got groomed in this show. <laughs> they literally meant that they made chad michael murray's hair mimic uncle keith's hair and nate's hair mimic dan's hair and that um, they would like literally make them foils throughout the entire show also that like they made Haley um have different hair than peyton like that's what they were talking about about the grooming they were like <laughs> we forgot about all of the olympics that we had to go through and and like it took me a minute i was like what the fuck are they talking about <laughs> wait so does peyton not ha really have curly hair i think peyton does have curly hair oh, okay. i think hillary burton still has curly hair oh but okay. Haley also had so when Haley got onto set she also had curly blonde hair and got they it. bronzed it up so you can't have two blondes on a show no you How can't how would people tell the women apart? <laughs> they wouldn't know. That's what Miranda Hobbs said when she was on Sex in the City. Because they're like, oh, your hair, blah, blah. I saw an interview with her in like 1999 or some shit like that. She might have been on The View. And she was like, no, I'm actually a strawberry blonde. But they made me dye my hair red because they wouldn't, they couldn't have three blondes on the show. You can't. How would you tell the women apart in a show if they all have the same hair? No, you... one, that's not a problem with women. Because women wear their hair differently. Like, there are a million things that women can do with their hair. If you line up four mediocre brunette white men, I'm like, any one of it's those the could same. be Chris Sad. Pratt. I don't know. <laughs> um, also, can we talk about the vandalism in episode three? Can you tell this is the most recent episode I've seen? Because the yeah. hazing, and they're like, it's just going to get worse. And then, it's going to get worse. And then they go to his basketball place that's, clearly yeah. public property and vandalize it i'm just like isn't this the, a felony 
isn't this a and, felony? Like, at least a quote, misdemeanor. Unquote, poor portion of the neighborhood. Here's the thing. Like, we got to start talking about how in the early 2000s, what we were led to believe was poor. <laughs> you had a, you had, you had a playground that had two basketball hoops and both of those basketball hoops still had their rims. <laughs> like, you fine. <laughs> You're fine. You're not poor. You're on the river. <laughs> yeah. It's like when they try when Lorelai Gilmore would be like, we don't have any money. I'm like, you're a general manager of a hotel. Like you're making, if not six figures, pretty right. low. Right. Like, yeah, you can afford I, to buy. I don't know. It just kind of, I think Karen has a similar situation as Lorelai as they like inherited their job. Like, because didn't oh. Lorelai get, like, trained by someone and then that lady died when Rory was a baby and then she became Star Hollow's, like, mm -hmm. hotel no, that's lady? Not, that's not how that happened. What happened? The woman who owns the inn, yes, Lorelai started working there as a maid and worked her way up to general manager, but um, Mia is still alive throughout uh -huh. the thing. She's just traveling, living her best life because she's the owner of a fancy place that doesn't need her. Because there's well, an episode it's later yeah. with Karen. Karen like was busting tables to support Lucas or something, and then she got to have her own little cafe. Karen's cafe. Karen's cafe. Um, honestly, maybe that's how I should have done it. Just like charmed people while I was busting tables, and then like one day they <sighs> just go, "Why don't you just have this?" That's <laughs> honestly, I feel like I should have done the same because I was really like Natalie. The shit you can get away with when you're like Hollywood hot. Which mm -hmm. I was and didn't take advantage of, but I just shot mm -hmm. Oh my god! Yeah, well, like I am shocked sometimes with the poor treatment I get because I was like, like we went to a flea market in the Bay Area, and myself and my child and the person I was dating at the time, and every booth we went to, if I commented or if Jackson commented. Or, like, whatever. People would just be like, oh, you want this? You can have it. Every booth. People do that to me all the time. I must be Hollywood hot. <laughs> and then and then it was like, well, let me, like, no, you're an artist. Like, let me pay something. Okay, I'll give it to you for a discount. And you're just like. And then, and then we'd leave before the boyfriend walked up because it's like, you don't need to know. Everyone, is this the revelation of tonight's episode? Am I Midwest Hollywood hot? There will be a poll yeah in the, in the story in the later. recap later. I'm sorry, is Napoli? I wish my mother had stolen my ugly childhood pictures that I tried to show. Did you tell her I'm very today. upset? Did you tell her I'm very upset about uh, this? I did. I was like, Mom, you stole my ugly childhood pictures. And I was going to show them on the internet. Because I'm humble. <laughs> and now I'm because I'm humble. And I and I wanted to do a Mia Thermopolis. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I wanted to do, I wanted to do a Mia Thermopolis. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be like, you take a skunk and you give her some hair straightener and she becomes a princess. <laughs> Or whatever he says. Whatever he says. Uh, no, it does make me very upset that they didn't make her curly frizzy hair curly. I know. They just made it straight. They just made it straight. As curly hair girls, we don't get a we don't we get we get a bad we are not allowed to be curly hairs. You know what? Curly hair you're making a comeback. Everybody be Googling mm -hmm. and Pinterest and how to take care of their curls. And white ladies are like, have you ever heard of silk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when you're at a party I love when you're at a party and a white lady who has curly hair someone will be like oh my gosh you've really gotten your curls under control because you know people be shitty <laughs> and they'll just say things like that to you like it's nice <laughs> Like you finally got that under control here's a um, compliment that's really backhanded insult and then the other white lady will be like oh my gosh I was watching Gwyneth Paltrow, and she told me about <laughs> silk pillowcases. <laughs> and 
And my curls have never looked better. I don't know why anyone hasn't told me this. I was like, this is cultural appropriation too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yep. Yeah, yeah, I was going through Sephora one day and I was like, oh, look at this silk head wrap. Like, this looks so great. And then, it, like, it's so whatever. And so I get, I get it here and I was like, first of all, the cost was way too much. I was like, I just, okay, listen, I should have just gone to the salon, to the beauty shop, whatever. Dumb. I was one so time, cranky. One time a former white friend of mine <laughs> had gotten control of her curls. Mm -hmm. And she, we used to do like skincare nights or whatever, where people would do their tips and tricks. And someone was like, oh my God, we should do a hair night. And then this lady was like, oh, I, I be talk about, um, curl hair care. And then she like side eyed my black friend. And I was like, what are you doing? And finally my black friend says something and she's like, what? And she goes, I just, I didn't know. I mean, I know. Like, I know that I, like, I interest things now about curls, but, like, I didn't know if I should be the one <gasps> telling other people about it. And she just, like, spiraled. It was the best. <laughs> I love, listen, I wear my white guilt as a badge of honor. I'm going to sit in that Elvis movie, and I'm going to be like, we're caught in a trap. <laughs> We can't walk out. And then I'll just like eat my popcorn and I'll eat my white guilt feelings and I'll wear it like a badge of honor. And then we'll do a great commentary piece on it. But I love when fake woke people <laughs> like just start to spiral in their white guilt. <laughs> and then they look at the only black person in the room and they're like, help. <laughs> Am validation, I validation, 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 please. Am I valuable? Please validate me right now. It's oh my God, validate. I love it. Do you validate? It's my, it's literally, do you validate? <laughs> it, it is, oh my God, we need to put that into a skit. <laughs> now we have to do a white guilt skit. I will be the one. I will be the white lady because you've had to play countless white ladies in community theater. I just don't understand. Why? Look at me. Do I look like I should be cast as a white person? I'm so confused. Comparatively between the two of us. Is this a bad thing I'm walking down right now? Yes. I'm sorry. But like. I mean, I already called out someone for their white fragility. And sometimes they do watch this shit secretly. Yeah. Because some people just can't let go when you go, you're actually a bad friend for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can't wait to know. Like, you know when you, like, wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, why do I keep yawning? The man I broke just screamed my name in his yeah. dream. <laughs> I can't wait to wake up in the middle of the night and know that she's crying because she's watched this. <laughs> but it was like, it was so surreal. And I'm like, why am I the only person in Ohio who can talk to people of color? Because <laughs> like, you're not scared. Just Apparently, like, people are scared. Scared. Yeah, it's just spiraling out of control, and like the appropriate way to ask my black friend if she who didn't really, I don't think she was wearing curls at the time, and I don't think I ever saw her wearing curls. So, like, the appropriate way to ask that would be to say, Do you want to double team this? Like, do you want to talk about it? Do you want me to talk about it? And I remember, yeah, cause... like, when the spiral happened, my other friend was like. I mean, you can talk about it because you Googled it. But yeah, that is my people's bullshit. Like, and not all curls are created the same. Like my curly hair is... And not all is, curls are created equal. My curly hair is very different from my sister's. Like the routine... Yeah. We both have very extensive routines. But also, my routine the, is very different from her routine. Also, it's the same with straight hair. Like, yeah. it, it's all about the texture. That's what you have to treat. You have to look at your hair and be like, what does this feel like? Yeah. Which and getting we'll my hair your fix it. I hate the way like I haven't had my hair dyed in so long and you know my hair saga these last few months. Yeah. I hate the way my hair feels right now. It makes me so upset. But it'll be fine. Like all of this will be grown out in a year, so it won't matter. Um, I'm blonde because hot girl summer, but also because I can't afford to get my purple hair back. So there is a Venmo. In the link tree, if anyone would be like, damn, Nelly's hair be growing out. 
and it blonde, but it blonde in like weird patches. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Venmo. There's a Venmo. Or honestly, like I bought because you got to take advantage of it, right? Like this yeah. is already still bleach. Yeah. So I bought purple hair dye to do on my own. And I'm just like scared to do it. Like it's like, Why are am you I going to stay? I don't know. It's something about like staying. I just like imposter syndrome. I get imposter syndrome over. So, so you clearly didn't spend your high school years dyeing your hair in your bathroom. I had my friends do it or my mom. I used to bleach my hair blonde to the root by myself. That was my, like every six weeks I was in the bathroom. I like, I used to have so many different hair colors in, um, college because just like a girl on the floor would be like who wants to dye their hair tonight and we'd go get box dye and dye it but i've never been the sole one who had you know it's probably my adhd like i gotta mix it i gotta hold that bowl it was fun I gotta, because like, it felt like it had it, it like, on my head <laughs> it felt like chemistry class in a way because yeah. you're just like i need the right amount of developer and then we'd walk through um sally's beauty supply and be like, oh, like it, oh, okay, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. and, then, and like, ooh, and then here's the thing: you go to the hair salon, and by the way, like my my girl, she great, she great, she don't charge me enough. I hope she don't watch this, and she start charging me what she worth, but she don't charge me enough, <laughs> and she's great. But you know how they make you think that like there's a brush and that you got a section and whatever? She literally just slathers my head like she's shampooing me with that dye, and I'm like, is that? it takes yeah do i just literally have to shampoo my hair with the yeah. guy yeah. i don't have to do <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. all right maybe i'll do it tonight manically after <laughs> just like... i love it i love, um, love it i love it i love it i'm i am digging my hair though today i don't know what kind of humidity hit it right but my hair usually don't look this good Maybe it it's because I wore good. a hat over the weekend. Thank you. Maybe yeah, the hat, the weather, all the things. Here's Maybe the thing, it's Natalie. A filter. Maybe all of the above. Maybe. So episodes one through so th episode three is when I finally got into it. Because episode one, I was like, okay, where are we going? I hate this Nathan guy. Pilots are so bad. Yeah. Why do they even air the pilots? They're it's the first pancake of the TV show. Just probably throw it to the dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like right. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually very few really good pilots. Oh, that might be a fun episode to do. Ooh, this, a pilot this, episode. This is this is not a creative meeting. This is a it live be. show. <laughs> um, we can't tell them all of our secrets. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. Ooh. Um, so it's like okay, episode one. Okay, I'll stick with it because Chad Michael Murray. Hmm. He's so cute. He's so cute. Cinderella story. He's so cute in okay. like a pug way. Yeah. And like, there's something just like real squishy and deep about his face, and you're like, that face shouldn't look like that, but I'm into it. I'm into <laughs> it. And you know what really, like, sealed the deal for me on Chad Michael Murray was a Cinderella story with Hillary Duff. Oh, yeah. Even and... though that's a also bad story. Like, he's not a good guy in that story. <laughs> no, he's not. But when they were doing press for that movie, he did, like, make a comment about how, like, was that, is that right? Or somewhere somebody brought it up their age difference. And he's like, yeah, like, that's weird. Like, I can, like, I understand. Like, yes, that's yeah. kind of strange. But I, I think, a paycheck. Yeah, because Hillary Duff was 16 and he was, like, 25, I think. Good um, God. Mm -hmm. There wasn't another mediocre white man they could have put in that movie. So Hillary Duff was, didn't have to dance with a 25-year-old. It was 2005. It was peak. There were was, so many mediocre white men. But it was peak One Tree Hill, no? I don't know. Anyway. But he did. I feel like he redeemed himself I, in that movie. I love him. Nathan is a very chiseled, like, classic pretty boy like he's chiseled and he's angry so then like my Not inner 2003 is like ooh powerful <laughs> cause you know what's been the theme of these lives I'm broken is it the media's fault or my family's we'll figure it out <laughs> one of these days we'll have the answer one of these days we'll know um and then 
you know who you know who I actually love and he only truly got a little bit of play I think in the middle of episode two and three where did I write it down where I'm like you don't understand Jake is the only good man on this show which one's Jake is that Brian Greenberg Green Green what is his name he's the one that is on the basketball team and is trying to be nice to to Lucas Greenberg, Brian Greenberg. Why I don't it, know. I don't think Jake was why is it, anything else. Hold on. Jake was his name? Yeah, his name is Jake. Jake from State Farm? No, Jake from One Tree Hill. Hold on. Sophia Bush, Brian, uh, Brian Greenberg. I don't know what his name is. He wasn't in anything else. He was yeah. just Jake. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure Brian Greenberg? Who's Brian Greenberg? You just keep saying his name. It's not yes, like yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Brian Greenberg. The one who's like, oh, just hang in there. The hazing started. Yes, I told you that. I was like, the one that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's Brian he Greenberg. Went on this whole thing. <laughs> that's Brian Greenberg. Yeah, he he's the only good Octo man on the show. He was in October Road. That was my introduction to him. Was in was the, he has to, Oh, and he was in Friends with Benefits. But October Road came first before Friends with Benefits. The fuck um, is October Road? Oh my God! You never watched October Road? No, that's not oh even a my show God! I've ever heard of. Oh my God, Natalie, Lori does he Green not let them credit him? Oh, there he is. No, I was gonna say, like, does he? He's on, Dude, he's, it's on his IMDb. I don't know if... His, it, 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 oh, my God. October Road. Lori, Laura Prepon, okay? They okay. played high school sweethearts. He goes away. And then he comes okay. back, and Lori Prepon has a child who's conveniently the same age as the time he's been away. Oh, good God. So that's the whole premise of the show. I forget why he comes back. One of his friends developed agoraphobia, right? That's the one where you can't leave the house. Oh, I Because at 9-11, like 9-11 freaked him out so bad he can't leave the house anymore. Where can he watch this? On ABC.com. I wonder if it's on Hulu then. I can't believe you've never heard of October Road. Am at I all. so Am I so obscure? Yes. I'm oh my god, it's on. It's on, it's on Hulu. Listen, and it doesn't happen for a while, but this is what I love. This is what I honestly may miss about early 2000s shows is that they will literally revolve an entire series of television around a mediocre musician. So yes, like Kate that Vogel, was the best. Kate Vogel got to be on this show. Tyler Hilton, who one day played that child molester, Elvis Presley gets to be on it. Like, and they what? liked Tyler Hilton. He gets to be on One Tree Hill. And then he plays Elvis in Walk the Line. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. He, those are actually points in the media timeline that people know. I don't know yeah. what this October Road bullshit that you're saying is. Oh, and you just, like, kept <laughs> saying it, too. You're like, October Road. I was like, what? Bride Wars. He was one of the husbands in Bride Wars. That, yes. Yes. Again, another thing in the media timeline people know. Sorry. You but, also okay, listen, here's the thing. When I heard his voice, I was like, Brian Greenberg? Because I know him. My first introduction to him was October Road. That is why I keep saying that because you know you cling to the first thing you saw somebody in and remembered them. No, I forget that Chad Michael Murray was in uh, Gilmore Girls like once a year because he was in two and a half episodes. He was in more than that. He was in, <laughs> the, he was in a lot of the first season. How's it going, Mary? <laughs> God. Because that's what he called Rory. Cause she oh my God, look at this movie poster. For who? For this October Road. I know, it's I so bad, I like right? Laura Prep on. I Do like you... Laura Prep on in uh that 70s show and then it all went downhill for me who are these is that nev campbell who are these 
other ridiculously looking white men in this movie. It's it's a TV show, and it's every it's like it's sorry. a whole ass TV show. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a movie. No, and it didn't even get a full season. Is this what you're gonna make me watch? Uh, for <laughs> one of them, because you get to now choose a TV show that I've never seen. I guess, and I is it gonna be this or Felicity? <laughs> Or no, the I OC. Think, I think you would resonate. I know OC is too long. I can't hang. And I watched that in adulthood. I didn't grow up watching it, but I did grow up watching Felicity. I own every single season box set. Plus, I'll watch it on Hulu. People uh, really fucking love Felicity. Where did this show air? ABC. Oh, see, I think when I was a kid, it was WB or nothing. If it wasn't like TLC and we were trading spaces, then it was like, why would I ever watch something? That wasn't on the WB or Catfish MTV. <laughs> I, well, you know what? So why did I watch October Road? In 2007, I was the only... Oh, so Jack... The boy was three. So I was probably just like... Had just freshly moved back in with my parents. And needed an escape. Listen, here's what I'm going to be mad yeah, about. Yeah, 2007, 100%, because somebody moved to a different state in 2007. So I think the reason why the show resonated was because it gave me, like, this hopefulness that maybe somebody would come back. Ugh. No, once men leave, we just let them. <laughs> like, we're just like... I, I know that now, but, you know... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We don't even ago. give them like a full wave. We just um. Here's the thing that's gonna piss me off about this October Road movie. Okay, uh, TV, or TV show. show. Here's Laura Prep on her mediocre ass, and she's raising some kid, <laughs> and she's been doing it all alone with the with the community backing her, like a real true fucking Lorelai Gilmore. Yeah. And then this man, this mediocre man, who they didn't even try to text to tell him that he had a kid. He gonna texting, show up. Was texting even a thing? Oh, in two thousand seven, yeah. Yeah, but you had to I pay for your, high school in two thousand seven. Either what unlimited text was like rich people shit. My mom had to get me unlimited texting because I went to college and started texting a mediocre man, just all day every day. I'm just what saying. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you like your classes? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Natalie's costing well, us money know. again. No, yeah. in 2007, unlimited texting wasn't a thing yet. So your parents really, really, really stepped it up. Well, I think my mom was more embarrassed to show my father the phone bill. To be like, <laughs> it was 10 cents a text every text you went over. And, and just like literally being like, you'll never believe. And I got fast at the T9 texting too, which yes. really was my downfall. Yeah. And I wasn't sleeping with that mediocre man yet, so he really enjoyed answering my text messages. It wasn't until he knew he had his shot to penetrate me that I would get the one word every couple of hours text messages. And I'm like, how dare you? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I really feel like the the kids don't understand just how dedicated we were to communication with yeah. old school texting and the limitations because I thought I was a fucking badass because I had 500 texts a right. month. I had an emotionally abusive boyfriend abuse me verbally via the phone every night around 930 um, because he would wait until nine and stay up so late to... <laughs> to call me when it was free when I was in college. And if I was out, like an independent college lady would be living her best life in college. Yeah, as one should. Tantrum. Tantrum. I, I, I would be like, I can find a quiet area. Like, just give me two minutes yeah. to walk away from the group of people. I can't believe that you wouldn't just... Like, I guess he just thought I'd be, like, sitting there at 8.59 going, 10... Nine. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so seven, excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Six. Can't wait Almost to hear seven. what kind Almost of macaroni seven. and cheese he made for dinner. But this is what's gonna piss me off about this October road show. So he's gonna come back and he's gonna be like, I can do math. And he's gonna figure out that that kid is his. Then he's gonna bond with that kid, and then everyone is gonna 
Okay, so so like he's a fucking hero. So they didn't get a full season, right? They got lopped off at nineteen, and I feel like the f- episode nineteen leaves us on this cliffhanger of like he's actually not his, but because they didn't get a full twenty three, we don't know. Well, and you know what? We'll never know. And, and we'll honestly, never know. I'm never going to watch it because I can't watch television shows like that. Like Netflix with their commitment issues and then being like, maybe you'll get a season two. Maybe we'll never know who car- dies in that car crash. I'm like, I can't. Once I know that you were a one and done season, I don't fuck with you unless so, you're but, a mini series. But like, remember 20 years ago, it was harder because we didn't yes, know. We didn't know. And they would like, cancel a show. Like, literally four episodes. Yeah. Before. Yeah, because you're just like, oh, the numbers are low, canceled. And you're just like, no, but I was the only one into this. Excuse now it's like, me. Yeah, excuse, how dare you at least release the final script so I know what happened. He's a cutie, though. And he's the you know, Who's this guy? Brian Greenberg. No, there's another guy. On uh, Are you still on Run Tree The chisel one. The chiseled one, the chiseled angry one. He's played some other mediocre white on man. October Road? On October Road. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, is it um hold on. Oh yeah, he's on so many things. What's his name? Jeff Stoltz. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Was he um was he ta- Tad Hamilton? <laughs> Was he was he Tad Hamilton? I thought Josh Dumel was Tad Hamilton. Oh, you're right, Josh Dumel. Oh, this is the poor man's Josh Dumel. This is why I'm confused. This is bargain. This is discount bin. Josh Dumel. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so funny because I always thought of Josh Dumel. Yes, he's hot and I like him, but, but I always thought. He was a discount Timothy Oliphant. He is. He is a discount. So, like, here's Modesto, the thing. Modesto, hey, by your pride, he and I went to the same high school 10 years apart, I, though. <laughs> I don't know how California works, but we have, like, a TJ Maxx. Yeah, we have TJ Maxx. good situation. Yeah. But then are, we have this, same. like, yeah. yeah, and then we have this scarier store situation where they take the, like, rejects from TJ Maxx and Home Goods and they put it in the home buys. <laughs> And they sell it to you for like $7. <laughs> and oh sometimes you walk into Home Buys. Home Buys is a real good time if they want to sponsor me. Sometimes you walk into Home Buys and there are lawnmowers on sale. And then you walk a little bit further and there are wedding dresses for whatever reason. <laughs> like, and so this guy. Did you buy so, a wedding dress? I didn't. Josh Dumel is the home goods version of Timothy Oliphant and Geoff Stoltz is the home buys version. What up, like music junkies? How do you feel about Gavin DeGraw? <laughs> uh, or One Tree Hill? Oh, I thought or, you were going to sing it again. Would you like to cross your fingers and hope that we would get back on board with early 2000s shows planning their entire season around around music. music do you remember when lady gaga was on not laguna beach the other one uh the hills the hills no the i hills, don't remember the real- oh my god yes i was re-watching it a couple summers ago and they were talking about her and i was like late you mean i've known lady, lady gaga. gaga since 2000 whatever like um okay listen when Charmed would, like, end in Piper's Basement Club, and they yeah. would just, like, be having, like, someone, probably da- Gavin DeGraw just being like, I don't want to be Take in a shot. Take a shot. Than what I've been trying to be lately. <laughs> Take a shot. Take a shot. And then, like, you would be like, I... That's how we learned about music. <laughs> yeah, because there was always the credits, too, of, like, in tonight's yeah. episodes featuring, and then they'd list all the bands. The OC yeah. was like that, too. They were constantly going to this music club that had bands. Yeah. Um, which I actually think if you did go down the OC rabbit hole, you would enjoy it for the music. Because that's the thing about One Tree Hill, right? Like, yeah. I was like, is this how my parents feel when the Beach Boys come on? Because it takes me back to that feeling of the summer after high school graduation uh-huh. where it was just like freedom, no responsibility. Everything yeah. was fun. Everybody loved each other. We were just having such a great time. The burden of adulthood wasn't there yet. Yeah. Every single like, time there's the music no- plays and I'm just like, Oh my God, this feels so good. 
Like, nothing makes me want to fall in love with a man who's never going to look at me twice than, if you just realize what a Jews realize, then we'd be perfect for each other and we'll never find another. I loved to cry to that song when I was a kid. I loved to rock myself back and forth and then be like, why don't you realize? And then six years later, he did. But he also wouldn't text you back. So it's confusing. <laughs> are you frozen or have I just lost you? I was, oh, just, I you was like, no, I'm frozen. I was trying to do it. It didn't work. When I you're am... frozen, can you hear me? I can hear you. I think Instagram's getting tired. <laughs> no. okay. Instagram's can you hear me now? so tired. They tried to not give me video today. They were like, girl, no one needs to see your face. <laughs> All right, what are your hopes? What are your hopes for One Tree Hill? And I won't tell you anything, and I'll cover up how my face so you don't know. For the next three episodes or just generally? Sure. Oh, you, dealer's choice. Uh, you could go small, and then we'll go big. Okay, so the next three episodes. So Nate and Lucas have had this really big thing because of the hazing, so I think they're going to have a really big fight. Mm -hmm. Like, physical. That's not my hope. That's not my hope. That's your prediction. <laughs> That's my prediction. My hope I mean, maybe is... you like to watch white guys punch each other. Like, everyone has their thing. It's not my thing. I just <laughs> like when white guys are naked. <laughs> Apparently. I don't know if that's true either. Well, thank um, God we haven't gone through one show yet where a white guy isn't, like, barely naked. covering up his bits. I know! When he walked out with the basketballs, I was like, is every show Natalie and I going to watch have a naked man? <laughs> Um, my hope is, I know you said Dan doesn't get better, but I really want no, him to get, all. I want him to encourage his boys to like, at least get along. But you said that's not going to happen. He's literally the antichrist. Okay. So my hope for the show is my, evil incarnate. My hope for the show. Well, my hope for the show is that, that the moms will get their shit together and okay. like, be cool with each other and encourage the boys to have a relationship all right do you have individual hopes for anyone like do you hope that Haley or brooke or peyton i hope that the Haley is really the women are what it is for makes the show so, yeah i really hope that Haley stops tutoring nathan because i'm very mm -hmm. concerned that that's going to result in a big rift between her and chad michael murray and that's going to make me yeah. really really sad because i love their dynamic i think they're such a great friendship duo i also hope it doesn't turn into an incestual thing where like they all start bed hopping with each other because like that really bothers me um, i'm sorry do you not know what era we're of television we're in also we still do shit like that Remember when Barney <laughs> fucked Robin on How I Met Your Mother and yeah. then married her? We were yeah. confused. Yeah. I just don't want their relationship. I just, I hate, I like, this concept that uh, when Harry Met Sally introduced to us is that men and women can't be friends, and I don't believe that. And okay. the idea behind that is, is because, you know, somebody always wants to sleep with someone. And, again, I don't agree with that. Like, I don't no. believe that to be true. Some people are ugly, so... I'm really, you let me drink on our live show. And I usually try to avoid that. I know. And the only reason why I'm not is because I have to drive somebody to, I have to drive yeah. later. Otherwise, I would also be participating. Um, but I really, really hope that their relationship doesn't take a hit. Do I love you? I, re I love their friendship. I think it's sweet. And then when Karen know, was like, cute. And then when Karen was like, oh, she comes from a big family and she saw just me and Lucas and was like, I come from a big family. They don't need me. You need me. I was like, her heart is so big. I love hey, her. Like, literally. I know I talk a lot of shit about how I'm the Brooke Davis, uh, Davis in everyone's world, but I literally am Haley with Brooke tendencies. Yeah. Yeah. I'm are like there, a hoier Haley. <laughs> are there quizzes that we could take to find out who? Which probably Buzzfeed is? probably has a quiz. I don't want to give Buzzfeed my data. Cool, I understand that they can't like write proper sentence structure, and for whatever reason, wouldn't hire me in like 2012. So, but they did give us the Chris Evans puppy interview. Oh, I thought you were gonna 
bring it back to the Chris Evan dick pics. I was like, it's supposed <laughs> to be the one that broke that. Um, do you think that when we finish season one, you're going to be like hyped for season two or angry at me? I <laughs> um, will do this chat kid every week. Hyped for season two, angry at me. I think right now I might be hyped for season two because, yeah, like I said, yeah. it took it took to episode three to get me to be like, okay, I'm into this show. Like, because yeah. the pilot's always rough, always, especially We've in the early gotta 2000s. Do something about that. The TV show I'm scripting, I thought that the one that I chose to script out first is going to be my fucking strongest and pettiest episode. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Um. Well, I think nowadays, though, pilots are a little bit better, especially yeah. because they're filming because you got everything. Ten. You got 10 episodes. Yeah, yeah. And they're shooting all at once in, like, 30 days or some shit like that, six weeks. Do you feel like now that we're back to watching a television show that is going to have 25 or 26 season, like, episodes, episodes Times do you nine? find the pacing really weird? Like, that they're really revealing things, like... Yeah, because Molasses it's right, right. Because I was confused, right, about the timeline between Lucas and Nate. Yeah. So, and I'm sure that will probably get clarified. What in the next three episodes? Like, we'll probably get more context in the next three episodes about the relationship. And I'm pretty sure we spend because... an entire episode in flashbacks. Okay, especially because I haven't seen Nate's mom yet. So yeah. more pieces will fall into place once she shows up. I'm sure. Um, but if this were now, we would have had all of that in episode one. I mean, would we? We just watched The Time Traveler's Wife, and they didn't tell us anything. Listen, if Stephen Moffat's not in charge, we would have had it all in episode one. Right. Yeah. We would have. Um, honestly, I'm having a great time. I yeah. love revisiting this. I'm enjoying it, especially, I'm, like I said, it makes me feel very nostalgic. It makes me feel that youthful vigor and i really and you know because again i was 19 I'm, when the show aired i'm so glad that we did this instead of glee <laughs> Girl, i'm so gonna, glad i wasn't gonna rewatch glee with you i was just telling you that to be think to of, listen, to be supportive like, think about all of the things that we could talk about if we rewatched glee we could talk about uh leah michelle's racism and then we could talk about how they weren't sly about that racism in the show. Mm -hmm, <laughs> like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, then we can talk about like what a dirtbag Ryan Murphy is, but he always tricks us into believing that his shit's gonna be good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm, watched mm -hmm. that Hollywood show that he I did and like, like it. it was about like four episodes in and I was like, I really thought this was gonna be good, but I don't think I like it. But it's this really is why not we're until the finale that you're like, you're right. You know what? I didn't like that. And that's how it always is with Murphy. You got and into we... it. You got further than I did. I was like, by episode four or five, I was like, this isn't what I thought it would be. And I'm out. I was watching it with a man that I didn't want to talk to. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, and we could have talked about how Mr. Schuster probably did have sex with all those kids. Yeah. And he, yeah. how he like stalked Finn into a shower, an active yeah. shower. Yeah. Not even just a shower room, like an active shower. Well, there maybe for so the much. maybe for the anniversary. There's just so many thing other things that we need to be covering. Right. Well, yes. Do I you want think... to tell them anything that is coming up? We could probably tell them the about the YouTubes. Yes. We are doing when well, once we figure it out. <laughs> right we have to google how to get us both onto youtubes at the same time i'm assuming it's just a button like it is here i hope I don't so. think you have to call youtube to be like we would like to do this at the same time <laughs> we are going to be doing a youtube one-offs we won't be doing series we'll be doing one-offs like we're planning one for elvis the recent baz Luhrmann yeah. movie which is just so cute cute and we're going to do Barbie because I'm obsessed with how much neon they've put Ryan Murphy in. So good. Ryan am, Gosling. Oh, fuck yeah. Ryan Gosling. God damn that Ryan Murphy. Um, here's the thing. Uh, 
the Barbie movie might be the only reason I make it to 2023, everybody. Because every yeah, time I'm a new so photo... Yeah, I'm so pissed that they're making us wait until 2023, by the way. Every time a new photo gets leaked from that Barbie movie, I'm just like, I'm really going to see that goddamn mm -hmm. Barbie movie, which mm -hmm. means I'm going to really have to keep my shit together to make it to 2023. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Jules. Sorry. Sorry. We're wrapping up. I know. I'm sorry. We're wrapping up. Tell them where they can find you. I am here on Pop Culture Makes Me Jealous. It is the show that analyzes pop culture through the race of, through the lens of race or gender and sometimes both, even though I haven't really done that with One Tree Hill you yet. That. But you I killed that. <laughs> it's a description of your own show. <laughs> Life's hard. Life's hard. Um, that am I'm also me myself. I'm also listen. If you think that this hasn't been a shit storm and you want more of it, I'm yeah. also on Instagram as the Julia Washington. T H E mm -hmm. Julia Washington. Super accessible in the DMs. Love having conversations about television, movie pop culture i i even participate in celebrity gossip just not always publicly <laughs> is that everything did i hit all my notes i think so hey everybody this is your midwest hollywood hot host natalie katona i am your host of i i see one tree hill in the corner and i'm like i'm your host of one tree hill <laughs> I'm the host of To All the Men I've Tolerated Before, which means that I'm going to ride Chad Michael Murray and James Lafferty the hardest, but I am never going to let you forget that Dan is evil. Just straight up evil. Like, if my mom can recognize it and not make an excuse for him, then we know that it's not yeah. great. My mom made an excuse for Elvis the other day. <laughs> so Brave. That's brave. 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 Um, what to all the men I've tolerated before One Tree Hill doesn't come out weekly anymore it's just on HBO you can be watching it right along with us you could write us comments you could write us letters like let's do this all together let's do One Tree Hill karaoke I'll get a playlist together yes <laughs> I dig I dig um, but uh, to All the Men I've Tolerated Before comes out every Thursday. This Thursday is a re-release. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> um, this Thursday is a re-release of a live episode that we did. And it has our wonderful friend of the pod. Aunt is that your microwave? <laughs> In the middle of my plug. <laughs> Sorry. It's not me. Oh. I'll mute. <laughs> um oh our wonderful friend of the pod annie c if you remember i thought this was gonna be easier she's an artist and she's an artist who's angry like the rest of us that we've all lost our reproductive rights and our ever living fucking minds so she makes art that helps us express that. And she, her and I, um, you won't be able to see them on the audio, but her and I walked through some of our old art projects and we talked about where we were at mentally, emotionally, and how we felt about our bodies when we did that. Um, and it's a good time because Annie's always a good ass time. Love that. Right. And you know what, tolerators, you know the drill. You don't have to smile through anything you're tolerating. And we'll see you in the DMs. <laughs> Let's see if I know how to end this. <laughs> like, why don't I ever go in with the finger that they won't see? I'm just like, hey, everybody. <laughs> with my giant finger. God. You got this. We're going to get good to at this at some point.